Hi everybody. Today is August 28th and I'm out here on this uh, crazy rainy kind of night. I was out in the garden. It's been kind of raining but just a little so I wasn't quite sure if I should still come out and water even though it's been raining. It's been very hot here. It cooled down a lot today uh, but it's been very hot so I thought maybe it's just surface wet because it hasn't been like pouring or anything. It's just been kind of lightly raining. But then I saw something that made me decide not to do any watering tonight. But it's over on this other side over here. Um, over here I've got my kale and I happen to notice, well now they're gonna be gone. Oh, there's one, a slug there. A slug there. And I thought, nah, I don't think I'm gonna water. I think things are moist and damp enough in the garden for that uh, for today. So I think we're good. Look at those beautiful marigolds. Oh, look at them. Beautiful. Yeah, so I don't think, I don't think I need to water. You got some Japanese beetles. There's all kinds of fun stuff in the garden tonight in the rain. Um, I found today, look at, there's just, there's slugs everywhere. And before you tell me I'm a terrible gardener because I have slugs everywhere. Uh, I had the dogs out this morning and um, in just in the middle of the lawn, like literally the middle of the lawn, there was a six inch slug. I hate slugs. I hate slugs. I hate slugs. Ah, they're so gross. Um, and that is honestly the biggest one I've ever seen in my life. So, so things are going a little crazy here. It's, it's, uh, yeah, very, very different this year than it was last year. Um, the marigolds are absolutely loving this heat and this rain. Uh, but all these tomatoes all have a lot of slug damage and, uh, but a lot don't. I mean, there's still a lot down there, but look at all of these tomatoes on here. I thought I just heard a crunch though, so I hope there's not a hornworm in here somewhere. Uh, but these tomatoes, I don't know where these tomatoes keep coming from. I keep picking the ones that were eaten and tossing them out into the pasture and they still, there's just, they're, they're everywhere. Um, but I do have a lot of really nice, I've been working on this bed a little bit. I gave it some lime, I gave it some compost, I gave it some mulch, and the tomatoes are actually looking pretty good. So um, I think it's working. Now I don't want to get too excited and overdo it. Uh, so I'm just kind of going to wait now a week or two and before I decide what to do next. But even look at, I'm going to lift this one up and see... This looks like a newer one. Look at that. No blossom end rot. Wow. And this one's been hanging close to the ground. See that? Um, so that's really good. I'm still, uh, I, I, I would like my, I'd like them to ripen on the vine, but I think I'm going to pick it. Uh, just because I'm not quite ready yet. But to me, this shows that they are doing better. I mean, there's new blossoms on there. There's a lot new tomatoes. And all these new green branches, even though these tomatoes are pretty in pretty bad shape, but that's telling me that they're kind of coming back again a little bit. So, so that's good. Maybe I'll still get some good tomatoes off this, off these plants over here out of this bed. Um, these are going wild. Look at these. They are probably at least three feet tall. I was watching one of my videos from like, from like, probably only two or three weeks ago and these plants were still just like little plants so so they're like going wild it, it's, it's got to be that hot weather we just had um as much as i did not like it i wish it would have stayed for another day or so because uh, i think this garden just really kind of needed that now we're kind of back down in the low 70s for a couple more days so the, the up and down temperatures, I don't think are helping very much. Um, I think it would be better if it was hotter for longer or cooler for longer, but it is just up and down like this. 90 degrees one day, 
than 70 the next. Yesterday it actually was 90 with a heat index of 110 and then it dropped down to 70 degrees in the middle of the day and then again by about seven o'clock at night the heat index was 108 again so it is just it's it's just going crazy here um but these marigolds i have not seen them looking this good i mean they are every one of them is just beautiful right now this one looks like some of the the flowers like die off and they'll drop their seeds and then it'll make this plant bigger so that's if I figured that out last year that that's how these plants get so big because I'm like I only plant one and it I you know I used to think it was just the plant growing but it's not it's they actually some of the seeds fall off and then they just there's more and more plants growing in there um so yeah so there's a bunch of man they're, they're just so pretty and then there's a lot of beans here I have a friend coming over tomorrow so I'm hoping they want some beans um, and then I had a huge cucumber I picked today, not from the new section, but I thought, I think, I think any day now there's going to be new cucumbers in here. And look at, I mean, those plants shot up with that heat. Um, and the kale, I even found, oh, I keep getting stuck on that. Even this, like these top ones, like most of these are so eaten from those beetles. Uh, but there's been a lot of nice growth that has not been eaten yet. So I was happy to see that. I picked a couple of them earlier. It is getting very dark out here, though, so I'm going to have to go in a second. Um, broccoli, there's a tall broccoli grew, too, so i got to get that cut off tomorrow. I didn't bring a scissors out here, or I would do that tonight, but I can't do that right now some kind of bug over here just want to see if it's a beetle no it was like a big fly there are just the weirdest bugs out here right now so all right and hopefully these cabbages those are being really eaten which is a bummer i might have to pick this head even though it's still kind of little i might get that out of here in the next day or two because it looks pretty good and it looks like the red cabbage might finally be making heads maybe it looks like they're curling up in there so we'll see maybe we'll still get red cabbage yet there's only a couple weeks left it's so sad i just can't even believe it look at that look at those marigolds and this one's got like look at all these buds on there look at that it's not focusing real good i think because it's not real it's really dark out here it's darker than what it looks like um, in the video. Uh, so we can't, it is now too dark officially to look at the peppers, but the peppers are doing really good too. Um, I'll show those more tomorrow because they really are doing good. So, all right. Have a great night. Bye.